Okay, girl, so I thought Butter Lace unit number three was fire. I had met Bohemian, the Butter Lace Bohemian. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But y'all, this unit right here is your girl. This is your girl, period. Sensational Human Hair Blend HD Lace Front Wig Butter Lace Bohemian. And this is in the inches 28. And I did pick her up in the color 1B. She's giving us life, okay? Look at her. So this is the overall construction. This is not a full lace wig. Uh, it just gives you a part and we got a little bit edges on the side. But this is the overall look of this unit and look how bond these curls look y'all this is definitely giving us virgin hair dupe of course we know it's not virgin hair it says uh what is it human hair blend but it's synthetic So now I'm just gonna go ahead and tint the lace. I'll leave this product below. But look at the difference when you go ahead and tint the lace. Y'all see how well that looks? So y'all don't be out here in the streets making yourself look like a fool, okay? Don't be having people clocking your wig by forgetting to tint your lace. we're gonna go ahead and cut off this extra lace we do not need okay you can use your scissors and the eyebrow razor or whatever you have but get rid of it all right so boom this is how i like my units to look i cut a lot of the lace off okay i make sure that once the wig is put on it's definitely laid ear to ear i noticed that it was crooked so i'm glad they left us room to straighten up the part because i am not going out here looking like crooked head sally okay you don't want your part to be going to the left when it's supposed to be down in the middle Y'all, we're gonna go ahead and secure the lace down. I'm using my Evan Supreme Lace Spray. Y'all, this is my favorite spray. Y'all know this is one of my favorite sprays. But I'm gonna have to be honest, this spray will turn white on you and will cake up if you use too much. Now, I like to wait for my product to get tacky. I don't want it all the way dry or I don't want it too wet because it's not gonna stick down right. Now I'm just going up to lift on the lace. When you lift up on the lace, you can see what parts have stuck down or not. So I make sure I go back in with some more spray. I do not go hard with the spray. Like I don't pull or push the nozzle all the way down, especially when I'm going back in certain areas because I don't want too much product. So I push it halfway, okay? Um, just so half of the product is coming out and not too much.
right, so now I'm just going in with some cream foundation and we're gonna go ahead and just blend it in just a little bit more. It doesn't really need it, but I'm gonna put it on there today. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my elastic band on. This is the key to having that bomb install, that melted look. If you have an edge scarf, whatever you have, use it. But elastic band is key. Now, while this is sitting, I'm gonna eat me some caramel cakes and some creamy peanut butter. Y'all try this out. If y'all haven't tried it, let me know and see what you guys think, cause it's bomb. Anyway, I let it sit for about 20 minutes and I got lines on my forehead from doing that. So you don't have to let it sit as long as me, but I was eating y'all. But this is what it's giving. So now I'm just gonna go in and define my middle part. This is a bust down middle part, okay? So we need this to be laid nice and neat. So we need the part to pop. Your unit is, is gonna be clockable if you don't make that middle part pop. Any part you have on your unit is supposed to be popping, okay? So go in to find it and clean up where you need to. So, like I said, this unit is not a full lace wig, but it is enough for you to do some baby hairs. If you don't like baby hairs, that's cool, that's fine. You can just skip this whole part and go on to the rest of the video. But anyway, we're gonna do my baby hairs today. And um, I get excited, but y'all, let me just be 100% with y'all. Just because I edited this this way, it doesn't mean it took me this quick to get the baby hairs. And I know a lot of people get frustrated, like with installs, they think, hey, when they watch, uh, certain videos you think that hey oh, they only laid it down once and it stayed down y'all gotta realize that these videos are cut short okay especially mine I edit them take a lot of stuff out because y'all will be sitting here for a good minute watching me straighten my part watching me hot comb the hair a thousand times watching me swoop a thousand times before I get it right so do be mindful take as long as you need do it as many times you need it to get it laid I don't make one swoop and it be done like that's just not realistic and that's just not what happens to me it's just that i edit it out if y'all hear some barking it's my dog i don't know what he doing out there but he just he doing something boom i'm on the other side y'all <laughs> and i want y'all to see how ugly this baby hair came out like look if i would one swoop it and be done this would be a freaking mess like somebody would come for me <laughs> look at that what is that that's a say y'all see that that is not cute so <laughs> yeah this is how it came out after a thousand tries later but anyway y'all i'm just gonna spray some got to be on the center of the lace and i'm gonna take my brush i'm gonna switch over to the comb side and comb into the hair just so it can sit up i want a little bump up there so i know my got to be will have me right it won't fail me so i am gonna go in with my hot comb as well to secure it in and i do keep my hot comb on a setting of five because i'm not trying to burn or change the texture of this hair this hair is so beautiful. Y'all look at this. Y'all cannot tell me it's not giving virgin hair. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and fix the curls in the front, okay? I'm using my Extreme Slime Gel. I think that's what it's called, and this is a water-based gel. Y'all, this unit, when it came out of the package, it felt a little crunchy, so I know they put some gel in there to hold those curls in. Mind you, this is a, uh, this is a human hair blend. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna put some gel in here because when I went to part in this unit, I frizzed up the frontal section of this unit. You probably can't really tell on camera, but in person you could see that it was frizzy, it was out of place. So since the unit felt a little crunchy, they could have used gel or they could use foam wrap lotion. They could use whatever. I don't know what they use, but I felt like gel, I wanted to try gel. Now I've never ever done this in my entire life with a, uh, unit like this so i don't know how it is going to be in long term but i know that when i put this gel on there it formed those curls back to the way they were and baby nobody can tell me nothing okay nobody can tell me nothing so that's what you see me here doing just fixing the curls making sure they're back in place and y'all see how well this blended look at that y'all 
Okay, look at that. That was super pretty. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side and that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. this is the end of the video i did get a little bit of snags when i went into part the unit directly down in the middle but that is expected i didn't get no shedding because like i said y'all see i did not detangle this hair at all y'all this is a better unit than butter lace number three hands down i've gotten so many compliments on this unit people swore that i was lying when i told them this was not a virgin hair unit they could not believe it and neither could i so if you're looking for a bomb vacay unit you don't have to look no further this is your girl so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.